What's good, y'all? So about an hour or so ago, uh, the news came out that in 2026, the WWE is going to be doing SummerSlam as a two-night event taking place on August 1st and 2nd, uh, which is obviously Saturday and Sunday on in 2026 in Minneapolis. And honestly, hearing about this news, I'm, I don't think it's a bad idea, you know, them expanding SummerSlam to two nights. We've been seeing it for the past couple of years now that WrestleMania is two nights. And now, you know, the WWE, they're trying to go big and beyond. So, you know, what better way to do that is by making your second Big Four pay-per-view now a two-night event. And, you know, I don't want to jinx for the future or anything like that. But with SummerSlam now being a two-night event, with WWE WrestleMania now officially being a two-night event, I wouldn't be surprised if they make the Royal Rumble now a two-night event. Now, I'm not saying that's going to happen like right now, you know, I, if they ever make the Royal Rumble two-night event, that'll probably be a couple years from now, but I wouldn't be surprised if one day they were to make that announcement that, hey, the Royal Rumble is now a two-night event, you know, main event with the men and then like, or women are one of those nights, but yeah, for SummerSlam, honestly, again, not a bad idea, um, you know. 2026 out to two years away so we'll obviously we'll see what happens in that time period but um yeah I'm not really mad with this decision you know you got to do what you got to do to um you know to make the you know to expand more and all that stuff so yeah and two nights of wrestling that even opens the door for more wrestlers you know to wrestle on the SummerSlam card um because obviously again SummerSlam to your you know big four pay-per-views just as big as WrestleMania so um but yeah, those are just my two cents on it, you know, and um, yeah, that's pretty much about it.